In this video, we'll take a look at how we can incorporate Firebase authentication within our Angular applications and how we can block certain routes from unauthenticated users. This is the final product for today and as you can see, we have three routes here, Home, About and Secret. Upon clicking on the Secret route, we will get an alert telling us that we need to be authenticated in order to access the page. And for that, we're going to click on this sign in with Google button and that is going to go through the whole authentication process for us and it's going to let us access that route. For this project, we're going to be using a library called Angular Fire. Furthermore, I have to point out that this library does provide custom gods that we can use straight out of the box. But for the sheer knowledge of how gods work in Angular, we're going to create our own god. The source files for this project will be available in a link down in the description as well. And now let's begin. I've already created a project and our next step is to add the Angular Fire library. For that, we can do ng add at angular slash fire. In the meantime, we have to have a Firebase project created. You can watch this short video linked in the corner for a quick overview of this process. After we have gone through the Firebase project creation, we now need to enable the Google sign in method by clicking on the authentication and then signing methods and then edit the Google sign in method and just enabling that. Next, we need to copy the Firebase config and paste it in our application. For that, we can go to project settings and down in your apps section, we can copy the config. If you haven't registered an application yet, you can do that from here as well. Next, we can head over to our Angular application and paste the config in the environments.ts. And here we will also create a property called Firebase config. And we will do the same in environments.prod.ts. And like I said in the uh, shorts video, in an ideal world, we would have separate projects for our environments. So a separate configuration for development and a separate configuration for production versions. Next, we can go ahead and create our components for the home, about, and the secret page. And we can do that with nggc components slash about page, nggc components slash home page, and nggc components slash secret route. Next, I have cleaned up the app component page. And as you can see, we have a couple of tags linking to our routes and our components. Now, we also need to go to our app routing module and provide the routes and the paths there. And also, will add a redirect to home page if no path is specified. You can also add handling for like a 404 page here or stuff like that. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple. Next step is to create the guard. So this guard will help us block users from accessing certain routes. So go ahead and run ngg guard slash auth and choose the can activate interface. This will generate a guard for us and the guard will have the can activate method. And this method has to return a boolean value and that can also be a promise that returns a boolean or an observable that returns a boolean value. Now whether you want to use this asynchronously with observables or promises or synchronously it all depends on your project and your needs but for this project we will go with a promise. So we will import the angular fire auth here and we're going to create a const user. This is a promise and it will resolve to the current user. And if there's no user authenticated, this will return null. So we're also going to create this authenticated variable here. And we're just going to return true or false based on the state of the user. And after that, we can also create another if. And if there's no user authenticated, we will just show an alert message telling the users they need to be authenticated in order to access this page. Now, you can also do other stuff here, like redirect the user to other pages or uh, you might have some other functionality in your app but like I said we're keeping this simple and for now we're just gonna show an alert and at the end we're just gonna return the is authenticated variable that is all about our guard now the way we implement this card is we're gonna go back to our routing module and in the path where we want to activate this card we can just add the can activate property uh, which takes an array of gods and here we're gonna pass in the auth god now last thing left to do is to create the logging and logout buttons and the functionality for those buttons but before we move into the authentication methods we need to go to firebase console and under the authentication in the sign in 
sign-in method tab, we have to make sure that Google sign-in provider is enabled. And if we scroll down to the authorized domains, we have to make sure that localhost is added here as an authorized domain as well. And so we can go back to our app component.ts and there we are going to import the Angular Fire auth and we're gonna import Firebase as well. So in our constructor, we're gonna provide the Angular Fire auth and we're gonna create the sign-in and sign-out methods. For the sign-in method, we're gonna create a Google auth provider and we're gonna pass that as an argument to our sign in with pop-up method and for the sign out we're just gonna call the sign out method we can go back to our app component HTML and create our buttons with a class that basically only has a margin to the right side. And for the buttons, we will use the ngif directive and the async pipe because the auth state is an observable. So we need to check if the return value is null and then show the sign in button. Otherwise, we will show the sign out button. And obviously here we need to link the click events to the proper methods that we created in the component. We'll also make sure that we will display the user's display name here with a little welcome message and the auth state will return uh, a few properties for the user like their display name, their email and other useful information. So we can use them within our templates here. Next, we can save everything we have done and let's check out our application. As you can see, when I click on the secret route, we do get the alert telling us that we need to be logged in. And if we click on the login button, we will go through the whole uh, login process with Google and once we have logged in successfully we can now access the secret route and that is basically how you authenticate and how you use gods with angular and firebase obviously if you have some uh, sensitive data that only authenticated users can read from your database you have to set up those rules in your firebase project as well because we should not be relying on front-end security for things like that that is all for this one guys hope you find this video useful hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one